He is somebody that could get cut by his team. He had a horrible season. He was ranked bottom in almost every single category, but there is hope for this player. There is hope that he can have a bounce back season and turn back to his all pro level like he is. And if he gets cut by the Minnesota Vikings, I honestly think that the Houston Texans should sign Xavier Rhodes. Cue the intro. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the 713 Houston Sportcast. I'm your host, Ruben Calvillo. And it is reported that the Minnesota Vikings are thinking about cutting Pro Bowl cornerback Xavier Rose. Now, Xavier Rose, he's 29 years old. He's very long. He's very fast. He had probably one of the worst seasons that he's ever had. He was targeted 70 times. He allowed 59 catches. Now, he didn't get torched that much, but he just gave up so much car, uh, catches, you know, big plays here and there. And they're looking to cut him. Now, he did make the Pro Bowl this season. I, we don't know how. Like I said, he had his worst season. So he got in basically off of name recognition. Xavier Rhodes will have a bounce back season because he's been an all pro. He's shut down players like Julio Jones, like DeAndre Hopkins, Antonio Brown. He's gone against the best of the best and has played very well. And, you know, maybe it's time for a move, right? Because we've seen this before. We've seen cornerbacks come to the Houston Texans and have played absolutely fantastic. Gary on Conley was one of the worst cornerbacks for the Oakland Raiders. They got rid of him the same week that we were playing him. So they didn't care that he was going to be there. And he immediately made an impact on this team. He was allowing only 40% of completions against them. Didn't give up huge plays. He had two pass breakups at um, his first six games with the Raiders. He had 11 against he had 11 with the Texans, the final eight games. So Gary Conley pretty much turned his whole career around. And he is playing absolutely fantastic for the Houston Texans. Vernon Hargreaves was graded the worst corner on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the NFL. He was tied for giving up the most amount of catches. And he came to Houston and he has played absolutely good. He His first game was against the Colts and he shut down T.Y. Hilton. He continued to grow and to grow and to grow. And a player like Hargreaves, you know, who came from a system where they were horrible and he came here and now he's playing very good. And the same thing could happen with Xavier Rose. Why? Because Xavier Rose is not like a Gary on Conley. He's not like a Bernie Hargreaves. He has been good. He he has been an all pro. He has been a pro bowl corner and it's, it's just one bad season. And you know, the Houston Texans defense, they have this island of misfit toys, right? Toys that people don't want. They didn't want Gary Conley. They didn't want Bernard Harvey. They didn't want Bradley Roby. And you add in Xavier Rhodes, who is going to come in and honestly command this Houston Texans defense secondary locker room because he is a veteran. He is established. He will have the most hardware. Like I said, he's all pro, pro bowl. And they are going to listen to him. And also having J. Joe there will help Xavier Rhodes. I'm not saying that you need to just break the bank on Xavier Rhodes, but give him the same thing that you absolutely gave to Bradley Roby. One year prove it deal. And if it works, hey, it works. You find yourself a corner who you can sign to a multi-year deal. And, and if not, then hey, cut him. No harm, no foul. But Xavier Rhodes is a very good player. He just takes on the number one wide receiver. And, you know, he doesn't need to be the number one wide receiver here. Because if we sign Bradley Roby, it will be Bradley Roby, Xavier Rhodes, Gary on Conley, Vernon Hargreaves. That is a very good secondary. You know, our secondary last year was rated one of the worst, and it is now our strength. And that is because we have fought, we found pieces, and we added them, and it makes it better. We're going to have a new defensive coordinator. We're going to have a new defensive scheme. So who knows how these cornerbacks will do, and what better than to get a new scheme and then to add a veteran, established corner like Xavier Rose is. And, you know, a lot of people are going to go after him, right? The Chiefs are going to go after him. All big, all big teams are going to go after Xavier Rose because he can be an amazing type of player. And a lot of players are going to get cut, right? You know, A.J. Boyer might get cut. That is somebody who the Texas could bring back. But if there's anybody who's able to have a bounce back season and just go back to his true form, that would be Xavier Rose. He's a game changer. He completely shuts down people. Like I said, he shut down DeAndre Hopkins one game when we played him. 
adding Xavier Rose not only excites this Houston Texans fan base, but it excites the players, right? Like, hey, we're going all out. We are trying to do it. And what better than to add maybe one of the best cornerbacks in the past five seasons like Xavier Rose? He's going to have a bounce back season. And I just I just hope and pray that the Houston Texans sign him because it is all systems go when he gets here. Like I said, he's that type of player. He is a game changer. Now, I can sit here and say, oh, I want this, I want that, I want this player, this player. But it's really up to Bill O'Brien. And if one thing that we know about Bill O'Brien is that he is very aggressive. He went after Lermit Tunsil, Carlos Hyde, Duke Johnson, Kenny Steele, Conley, and Vernon Hargreaves. He's not afraid to take a chance on players. And Xavier Rose is the right player to take a chance on. But let me know what you guys think. Should the Houston Texans sign Xavier Rhodes or should we just let him walk? A lot of people are saying his career is done. I think, no, he's 29 years old. He still has about three, maybe four years left in him. And let's use whatever he got left. As always, guys, go Texans. I'm going to be keep making these videos. You know, uh, players who might get cut, who will get cut, who potentially could be coming on the Houston Texans team. So be looking forward to that. As always, go Texans. You guys have a blessed day.